Ah. Ooh. It's hot today in South Africa, or I can say Southern Africa. We're here. Oh wait, let me get let me get ready. Like I say, it's hot, 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 hot. Look, we have a topic today I need to talk about. It's been, I've been seeing this all the time. I, I've got a little bugaboo I have in my head right now. It has about, you know, generational kind of thing. You know, young people. Old people, too. Mainly old people. Here's the thing. I've been... Let me, let me start off. In uh, Zimbabwe, there's a huge ec epidemic in, in Zimbabwe now. Uh, consulting, you know, a codeine or a cough syrup. The codeine that's in cough syrup. And in fact, the, 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 what they're using, I don't know what it's called, but what they're using, uh, the, the, the cough syrup that they're using is not coming from uh, Zimbabwe, it's coming from South Africa. It's a manufacturer's in South Africa, wow. and it goes Zimbabwe. And uh, yeah, do, 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 do you know about this? Do you, what, is, what is called? This DPH. 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 Okay. DPH. Anyway, so, so, so what's happened is uh, the young people, of course, they have no jobs, blah, 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 blah. And they are just, you know, idle. They have nothing to do. So what are they doing? You know, doing what do all over the world. You know, the, the drugs come in, people are idle. They got to either sell it. They, of course, if you're selling, you got to use it, blah, 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 the whole thing. And of course, you start with your own community first, and that's, that therein lies the problem. Okay, so let's start with that. Now, I was riding in a taxi, you know, not a taxi. I was getting a lift to town. I can't explain this. We, we, we lift all the time, give them a little 10 man or something like that. It helps everybody, you know, get some gas money because things are going up, blah, 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 blah. Okay, we're, we're in the sus hut right now. You hear some banging outside because people are always working on their house, you know, trying to improve what they're doing. Okay, so, so I was riding in, 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 the, in the ride and there was a young guy. He looked up at like 22 or something like that. And we start talking, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I start talking about stuff, you know. He says, yeah, the young, young people this, young people that. And I said, well, you know, the problem is that, you know, you're, most of Africa, most, I'm, I'm not going to say most of the world, but most of Africa, certainly in South Africa, South Africa or Southern Africa, um, uh, you, everybody's under 30. Basically, it's everybody's under 30. Okay, you want to stretch it to 35? Everybody's under 35. Okay, most people under 35, okay? And, uh, all, and But you're ruled by these old people. They're two and three, the three and four generations moved from your, removed from your reality. And they're doing what, they, and they, they, it's almost like they, they say, oh, we work to get to this. So they're, 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 they're servicing or, you know, with their own sort of circle. They, they're all employed. What do they care about unemployment? You know, you say, but they, don't they have their children? Don't they have, yeah, but their children don't go to private schools or whatever because they've been, they've been gaming the system, you know? Uh, so, so, so just hold on that. So my problem is this. Then when you have young people coming up, you have old people say, oh, no, you got to wait your turn, da, 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 and all the rest of this other nonsense. And it's like, look, let me put it this way. I remember when I was I, I'm not so, 19, I thought, 19, we, we were causing revolution when we was 19. We were taking over our school, 18, 19. We were taking over schools, do, do, changing things. At 19, at 29, we are still doing, you know, people, the most revolutionaries around the world were under, what, 35? You know, when you look at... You know, some like uh, uh, Thomas Sankara, you know, all those, all those kind of people like that. You know, uh, Chris Hani, you know, um, whatever. Uh, they're all under certain age, but they're the ones that change it. The problem is a lot of not of them, but most of the unprincipled one. Either they, 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 um, they were functionaries in their, in that circle, and then they assumed power, and then they squatted there, and they wouldn't leave. So now you have a situation where you're being governed by people who are basically opportunists. I'm going to call them opportunists. Pimps, you know, revolution pimps, poverty pimps, whatever you want. This is all over the world. Don't, don't get me wrong. And it's upsetting. I mean, it really is upsetting. Um, I, so I was telling the guy, the guy that gave me a ride, I said, I have this theory. You know, you know Madiba, you know, the revered Nelson Mandela, I'm not going to get into the whole thing. But anyway, one of the things he said is that the voting age should be 14. And then I said, you know, Actually, the voting age should be, I'm going to compromise, so the voting age should be, be from 16 and to, to 60. Then I said, no, 16 to 66. That sounds a little bit. So in other words, you can't vote before 16, and you can't vote after 66. Then he said, well, what's going to happen to all these people, like the 70 year olds and the seven? Well, they just got to negotiate with somebody you know, like 45 or 35, or whatever have you. If you watch your, your voice heard, your thing's done. And I think, I think that's a, a viable, you know, thing to do. 
The first thing you do, this is easily done. Don't worry about policy and making these people know. Just make sure they can't vote no more. Make sure they, they you know, their influence has to be there together. They, since they're used to, so used to bribing, then they got to bribe a 30-year-old. Go ahead, good luck with that. <laughs> and how many 30-year-olds you bribe to get your point of view? Because you no longer, you, you no longer have the power you have as far as voting goes. Now, if, some, if, if the populists want to vote, you know, vote somebody in the power that's 70 years old, Good luck. I mean, you got this guy in Gabon. There, there, there's a, there's a, uh, something happening in Gabon right now. It's because the cat's been in the hospital since like last year. It's like you know, October, November, September, whenever he's been in the hospital. The same thing in, in Nigeria. Just, they let this other guy, this gen, ex-general, back in. This boy in the hospital. There was a long time that Mugabe was running back and forth when he was doing it. Hospital, 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 hospital. And you know, they're not going to the hospitals they set up. They're going to the hospitals in France, you know, and they're going to Indonesia. You know, and they, they, you know, and, and Putin said something that was really interesting, and people got offended. Putin said Africa is a cemetery. People got all oh, upset. Oh, they were going crazy. You know, oh, this is Putin. Blah, 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 blah. But what he was saying, and people realized what he said after a while. He said an African leader, they're born in Africa. When they get, to, when they ascend to power, what do they do? They take, the, they take money. They hide it, they send it to wherever they send it to, Switzerland, Sweden, whatever, I don't know, wherever they send it to, hide it offshore, whatever they do, right? Um, when, when, when they get sick, they go to a hospital in, you know, the aforementioned countries, right? Their, their children, they send them to, they send them to schools in England and, and, and whatever, kind of U.S., whatever they send them to, Germany, wherever they send their, their, their kids to. And then when their kids come out, because since they've been rubbing with those kind of, those are the colonies, they've been rubbing, when they come back, they institute the, 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 the stuff that they learned from their colonial buddies in that, in that, in that indoctrination factory that they're in, be it Oxford, whatever. Because what's, what's, let me say. Why do people go to Harvard and all those places, places like Sanford and all the rest of them, you know, and Oxford and, you know, whatever, whatever they go to? Because you're making contacts. It's, it's not university training. University is the world. You can go, you can go all over the world and get, get, get education. But what they're doing is they're making contacts. So when they get in power, they say, oh, this was my old roommate, you know, blah, blah, blah. He's a good guy. No, nah, man. Don't go to those places. Because all they want to do, they, 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 their whole lineage and their, their legacy comes and they continue to plunder and take stuff out, the minerals out of Africa. And you, like a dummy, you know what I mean? Then look at that guy, what's this guy? The guy in Kenya right now. His father, you know, and so he's pimping off the name and what's he doing? He's like letting the, you know, the, the criminals and the, and the people from South Sudan, which is the newest country. Old flag here, you know. I think it's only got 52. It's like 55 uh, countries in Africa right now, you know. And he's allowing those people to buy up land in Kenya and, and make palatial estates in the hoodlums. You know, it's terrible. All because you got cronies and you got these people who are taught someplace else. They weren't taught by their revolutionary parents. If they was, they were still be doing revolution and making sure that, 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 that as Magnus Luther Robert Sabuco would say, Africa is about humanity. They're not doing humane things. So if you want to do un inhumane things, then go back to those places that you learn how to be inhumane. Go, go there. G get off the continent. This is humane continent. If you ain't about humanity, you're not, you don't, shouldn't be here. Simple as that. Okay, so let me not continue to be upset. Let me calm down. So that's all I need to, you know, just, just to express right now. The expression comes from me. T from the past is taking the trench to bed, letting you know. But I only suspect. In the suspect. In the suspect. We in the suspect.